Well, hello there. Um, welcome. Uh, we're playing, well, we're trying True Stalker. This is a overhaul, uh, standalone stalker experience. It's basically its own game and campaign. Um, and it's a little bit different. If you've watched any of my uh, other stalker content, um, you might think you know what to expect, but I actually wanted to start here because this is a very different experience from, I think, uh, Gamma or EFP, um, the ones that I played. Uh, I don't believe that this is as sandboxy as the other uh, stalker games I've played. At least it comes with its own kind of set story and campaign, and it focuses more on uh that as a uh, as a like m momentum i guess um you still have all of the same stalker kind of rpg things to expect and we're uh you know you're still collecting artifacts you're still uh progressing in a very sort of methodical way hold on we're just gonna go ahead and just uh yep all right there's our there's our bud we have another one though we're using this is the first time honestly where i've actually understood how um the bolts are supposed to work they don't necessarily tell you where the anomalies are because obviously you know where the anomalies are um they just tell you that it's safe to walk forward um i know that's such a simple premise but uh really took me a while to figure that out um i this this came across my timeline and i really wanted to play it. i actually really wanted to do a playthrough of it but i don't think that that is gonna be in the cards i just don't think it would perform very well but i would be remiss if i didn't cover it somewhat on this channel because it's really cool i honestly i might recommend this um as like the go-to for um, people who haven't played Stalker and want to jump into it. Ooh, hello. Hey, fool, get the hell out of there. And we have cutscenes in this game. Give me that thing from the anomaly. Hey, punk, every, empty everything you found in the anomaly, uh, anomaly and make it quick. Is that your anomaly? The hell do you mean, my anomaly? Just doing routine pocket inspection, dumbass. Um, you'll hurt yourself with a pea shooter like that. Give me one second here. My uh, mouse was dusty. You'll hurt yourself. Uh, I warned you, if anything, if I were in your shoes, I'd be real careful about where I go around here. If I were you, I'd shut my mouth. I actually did this uh, mission once before. That guy doesn't, he, he's all bark and no bite. He doesn't actually hurt you. And I'm not gonna hurt him either. You know, I uh, I, I believe in the free stalker way. Um, let let's stalkers be stalkers and, uh, you know, let, let bandits be dead. I don't know something like that but yeah um we've got some really cool environmentals we've got um a lot more kind of like development and i have to stress i really appreciate the uh the like the time and effort that's gone into the interface in this we don't have a, a bespoke map unfortunately but what we do have are discoverables and uh you kind of like uh, uncover the map as you go along and things are very very clean and very readable and i really appreciate that um this is like focusing on more of being like a, a kind of a linear shooter than I think than some of the more popular uh, sandbox experiences. But I think that you'll still find the open nature of Stalker in this game. Um, and uh, and it's free. Like you can you can just grab it. You don't need Stalker. You don't need Call of Pripyat. You don't need um, the Shadows of Chernobyl. You don't need anything. Yeah, you can just grab it. Uh, I will say that so far, my experience in terms of its uh, how the game runs or performs has been very good. We're going to go up there, which might be kind of dicey. I actually wonder if I shouldn't have gone through that. You know what? Let's turn around. Let's turn back around, back north, and uh, travel through that tunnel. Because um, generally speaking, the center that that kind of bridge there is uh, very closely watched and controlled this this just all looks like a huge nightmare to me i, I kind of love it um 
I'm carrying a around a lot of artifacts right now, and all of them imp basically uh, give me worst, worst resistances for radiation. So uh, I would be in a lot of trouble if I was to mess around with anything like that. Now it says blocked actually here, closed passage. So I am wondering about that, but I wonder if that is something else that is actually unrelated to the tunnel over here. So I'm going to go check out the tunnel again. Uh, maybe we can just kind of bolt our way through it. No pun intended. Or, you know what, maybe, maybe pun intended. I don't know. Unexplored territory. I guess I haven't explored this. Am I near that tunnel? Did I imagine where I came from? This looks like it's going to be dangerous, but we'll check it out. And we'll uncover the pin. What's up, Axe? Did you get some sleep after last night? Yeah, our name is Axe. And, uh, we've got our own kind of priorities. We're not, uh... Whoop. Oh, no. Can I go this way? No, I can't go that way. Can't go anyway. Can I go this way? Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, anomalous locomotive. I would like to pass through here. Is that where I came from? I wonder if actually this is the other end of the tunnel. Um, well, I can't get through here. So I guess I'll just try the uh, center of the map. No, it's not always bad. Sometimes it's um, actually controlled by some positive factions. I don't know how the factions, uh, how, how much the power play of factions work in this game, to be honest. I haven't played very much. Anyone who's played this, you know, pack will know exactly how far I am, which is basically not at all. But I did want to showcase the beginning and I wanted to showcase my, uh, although, you know, albeit limited experience with the game, um, I think it's worthwhile and I really just want to give this game some love if I can. Okay, that guy's a bad guy as indicated on the mini map. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if we can take them out. I'm going to do a save. Always good to save. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. In fact, maybe we can get ourselves a new gun. We certainly got ourselves some more ammo. I'm just going to go ahead and take all of that. And we got ourselves an AK. Uh, I just, I, uh, I really like this interface. It's, it's clean. It is more indicative, I think, of a modern shooter, um, which may, might rub some people the wrong way, but I think it, uh, it feels good. And, um, and I just, I just appreciate it. So I think the graphics in this game are really nice. It's built on Call of Pripyat, I believe, um, which is worth noting. Uh, that does mean that there are going to be probably some bugs. I have run into a couple here and there, but nothing horrendous. Um, and nothing, honestly, I found my experience with EFP was kind of shady uh there were it was good i i enjoyed the game but you know i mean i had the ending kind of ruined for me but you know there's there's a there's a few problems and i would expect problems with this one as well but um such is the stalker experience i think uh it's a typical one you are um gonna have to expect a few rough edges but it's worth it the the, the call of the zone is um impossible to ignore I really, really appreciate this world. Uh, though I am very new to it, it uh, you know, it's it's impossible to to really say that it it isn't really beautiful. Like I, I and I think that's what uh, one thing I really like about this version, this True Stalker version, is they have uh, they do understand that this you know the zone is is actually quite a pretty place. It's dangerous, but um, like there's a there's a really kind of nice side to it. And um, I think that... It, ooh. There's a skull over there. I wonder if that's just a corpse? It does look like a corpse. What do we got? Oh, we got ourselves a Taz. Ah, that's actually really good. That'll be a good secondary. Um, it's already in my secondary, so we got ourselves a shotgun. Shotgun is... Uh, 
you know, a stalker's best friend, honestly, in a lot of ways. It's your, it's your like panic button. Um, more often than not, uh, the, the shotgun has saved my life. Possibly more than any other gun. All right, so let's pull back out. I actually really appreciate they 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 kind of lend you a a um what do you call it detector very quickly. Uh, I don't know if it's mine to keep, but it does get you used to using it very very quickly. And I have to say that uh, one thing I do appreciate in this version of Stalker is rather than having you kind of like side you know go to that one little swamp that we've probably all seen like 50 times um you are very immediately are you know uh you know uh tasked with going quite far out for your first venture into the zone we've got ourselves a another stalker they look fine they're not uh unfriendly let me see inferno anomaly yeah that's Old dicey. Hey, Mujik. Hey. Either my detector isn't working. Oh, I see. The detector is moving around. This is a new concept. Let's rely on the beeping rather than the, uh, Actual detection. I just, I'm going to assume it's closer to the center, honestly. It looks like a hand. It must be getting close. I am close to something. Oh no. Okay, I guess I was dying. I didn't even notice. Okay. Well, that's kind of novel. Um, I actually hadn't seen anything like that in um, like my full playthrough of EFP. Your, your detector just like isn't working and you have to just kind of feel things out. Also, take note of the load time. The load times are much more forgiving in this. I do think that... Uh, I think that this game, um, or this version of Stalker, they scaled back a, a little bit on some of the graphical uh, features, and I think that is a very good thing. It's going to make this game a lot more accessible for people, and that's one of the reasons I'm actually going to recommend this as a... Uh, even a potential first playthrough. Like, yeah, you should play Call of Pripyat, um, it's definitely worth playing, but it's also, you know, it hasn't necessarily aged all that well. Um, and it's always nice to have a few quality of life features. I, I honestly don't think that there's anything wrong with that. So it looks like the minimap is just guiding me to go down there. We are taking a lot of damage. Yeah, this this hurts. Okay, let's let's jump back out. Hopefully we don't fry. Ow! Never mind. <laughs> F9. Yeah, it, it this game it runs a lot better. I feel like it performs a lot better. Um for me personally, that seems to be the case. I do have it running on an SSD, but I also had EFP running on an SSD. So, uh, you know, worth noting that it, it, I think it does genuinely perform better. Ooh, I keep forgetting that there's one right there. All right, I think what I'll do this time is... Uh, oh, it's right there. Well, at least there's one there. I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to use the detector uh, as a sort of guide. Aha, there we go. All right, we're done. You took everything there is. Yeah, sorry, bud. We'll just sit around now. Um, I don't think that there's fast travel, but we're going to find out right now. 
Let's see if I can fast travel. Doesn't look like there's fast travel. That might actually put a few people off. I certainly think that it's worth noting that. Um, I did a lot. I used, I abused fast travel in EFP. Um, for a number of reasons. Ooh. But mostly because um, the stalker, the zone is quite large and you can easily find yourself like doing a lot of walking around it. And so not having fast travel could be a problem. But um, one thing that I think fast travel did sort of short change in stalker was um, finding guides, uh, guides, not like the written guide, but like uh, people in towns who were capable of uh, basically like walking you from one place to another. Um, so not having fast travel might actually give them a better purpose or more. Ooh, ooh. Okay, again, I'm, I'm carrying a truckload of artifacts right now and they all have um, pretty nasty radiation boosting effects. So if I take in even a little bit of radiation, examine the soldier's place of death. So what do we got here? I'll do a save. Um, I'll take all that. I am over encumbered officially. There is a kind of in, uh, fun like sepia tone effect when you are in like radiation. Uh, I think those are actually dead. This was a place I did a quest earlier. Yeah, these are these are all dead. No, no, no worries here. All right, so let's um, let's check out the tunnel. I think it's just straight south. It might be that one right there. Oh yeah, this tunnel. Um, it's pretty ubiquitous, I think, in the stalker community. Uh, I think every single like kind of execution of this tunnel is a little bit different, and sometimes it's friendlier than others and in this case i actually think that it's almost impossible to get through here unscathed but well, let's let's give it a go you never know maybe i'll figure out a way of getting through here but um yeah they haven't just done like the electro anomalies you can see the electro anomalies in this are almost like a full-on environmental effect that being said there's a couple things maybe we can jump on I would like to jump on this, please. Ooh. There's also a uh, artifact here. Okay, it looks like I can potentially... I'm gonna grab that. I could very easily die here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I tried to book it through. Um, this tunnel is like uh, the first time I actually tried to play through Shadows of Chernobyl. I, I kind of wanted to do a series for it, um, but like this tunnel almost straight up deadlocked me. It's so miserable. And um, in Shadows of Chernobyl, at least they went with this kind of repeating pattern of electro -ana anomalies. And um, that was in some ways more forgiving, but this seems to be, it seems to me that there's a pattern here that maybe you could take advantage. Well, not a pattern, but like a, um, a certain level of positioning that you could deal with. Let me see here. No, none of the, none of these directions feel good to me. I'm going to save again. It's free, you know. Ow. Uh, let's just heal up. Ow. Okay, oh, well, that really sucks. Oh, God. <sighs> Oh, I'm, 
I'm so dead. Yeah. Wow. Well, such is the zone, you know? Get through a vicious tunnel only to be met with vicious dogs, you know? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is uh i there's a there's a i guess i've already saved here this is after i picked up the anomaly is there anything in there that looks like oh there was a taz extra taz and extra ammo for the taz that's uh very generous there's been a lot of uh nice stuff hiding around every corner here i actually feel like i have too much stuff now i don't know um, I, I don't yet know if this game has the same level of kind of scavenging, um, like, survival stuff that the EFP had. Like, I was disassembling guns and doing all kinds of things. We are losing health at an alarming rate, probably because of radiation, so I'm gonna go ahead and drink some vodka. Yeah, our health, our, uh health descent has slowed so i think we're okay you do have to manage radiation in uh well you know in stalker but uh, this game's pretty lenient so far at least it has felt that way let's see i haven't even looked at this gun yet we actually have quite a nice chunk of uh, ammo for it so for my first little venture out in the uh in the wild there does seem to be quite a lot uh, of stuff Freebie stuff. Hey, can I wonder if I can jump over this? Secret passage. You're too exhausted to move. <laughs> That's funny. It's because I'm over encumbered. This is something I actually didn't uh, see in EFP either. So, uh, game's got some uh, some fun little surprises for even for the uh, seasoned stalker fan, of which I am not, by the way. Uh, I'm very much a tourist, but, uh, you know, with respect, a respectful tourist. Let's see here. Uh, I just want to make my way back to, um, I forget the name of the town. What is the name? It's just called Village, right? I forgot about that. But um, I have these artifacts that I need to give back to um, Sidrovic, our good old friend, the you know, the bastard Sidrovic. Oh, we got some doggos over there. Let's see if we can't give them a wide berth. I have found that the um, enemy's kind of like range of aggro is pretty forgiving as well. If you don't want to fight enemies, you certainly um, have the means to ignore them or work around them. Let me see here. This is a pretty good... Uh, place to find an uh, a artifact that would i would think so far nothing no i have a i like it took me a long time to figure out how to find artifacts in efp and i don't know if it was because it was more difficult or because i was just in inexperienced but i have found that um this game already has given doled out a couple of artifacts which is nice. I appreciate that. Um, they're not good artifacts. Like, let's look at the ones I've just looked at. Sparkler, a member of the electrostatic artifact family named for its brightness. I wonder if we can, we can't equip it. You need special, uh, probably special armor to equip it. Oh, we have more dogs. Wow, they're like everywhere right now. We got more electro anom anomalies in this underpassage. I wonder if that means we also have an artifact. Not seeing anything. All right, let's uh, let's not go under there. Oh, wait a minute. There's a quest down there. An anomaly casualties. Yurik messaged me that the soldiers that were sent after us died in an anomaly. Maybe they have something useful on them. I should check it out. We are over encumbered, but um, I mean, if I can do this, I will do it have a quick look i'm gonna save again save often i i did have i don't know how often that this version of stalker saves but i did have a like one incident and found i had to repeat quite a bit of content so worth noting that
Okay, oh, nothing on that guy, huh? We have a transceiver. Ooh. Cutscene. Warned you, little bitch, didn't I? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I got flipped. Okay, well, um, I actually wouldn't, like, I, I wouldn't, uh, avoid that quest necess uh, necessarily, but, like, uh, I am over encumbered right now, and that's probably hurting my odds of survival here, so let's, um, ignore this for now and head to the village, and, um, we'll go ahead and offload these artifacts to Sidravik, and maybe we can buy some more health packs and stuff. Speaking of which, I suppose I could use a bandage. Oh, you know what? That's that was incorrect. I I bet you a bandage is only useful when you're bleeding. Oh no. Ow. And which we are now. Okay, so now I'll use a bandage. Well, the good news about killing some creatures is generally speaking, that means there's some something to be found here. Um, I don't think I have a knife. I miss my knife. I love I loved my knife in uh, Stalker DFP. It was like one of the best tools you could possibly have. But, you know, you can just search carcasses in this. Um, so you don't need a knife for butchering. Um, so there is that. Like I say, uh, a lot more of a mainstreamed experience, uh, or I should say streamlined. It's it's more streamlined and um, for better or for worse, I think that this is uh, also a very enjoyable experience. It's just not as in-depth. It doesn't have the scary amount of depth that EFP had. Okay, so we are back at town. I'm gonna go and offload our artifacts and maybe I'll just call it there. I've said pretty much what I need to say and we've seen what this game has to offer a little bit. Um, obviously there's so much more left to do. Um, I'm sure that there's a, you know, the labs are done in this game to a, to a kind of horror degree um, as is typical to the stalker experience. Um, and I'm sure there's much more to discover. I mean, uh, you saw the kind of like floating islands. I wouldn't mind checking those out. Um, so I, I have to imagine there's more stuff like that. There's definitely a lot of quests. Um, there's apparently like little events, little story events, which I think are really cool. I injects a lot of personality into the soccer world that I think that uh, I definitely missed from EFP which felt more like uh, it treated you know the the kind of the zone as I don't know like um almost a flat landscape so uh, I'm done with the artifact job well done show me what you've scrounged up here that's all I could find this will do perfectly well here's your well-deserved money fair and square 8500 that's pretty good are you out of your mind? This isn't even half of what the artifacts are worth. I almost got wasted for them and you're giving me nothing for it. Now, now, Axe, don't get your shorts in a twist. I can give you more. I can't give you any more. At the end of the day, I gave you a good detector. How about you? How would you have found the artifacts without it? Find more after this and I'll buy it for a good price. By the way, Fanatic wanted to see you outside. Says he's got a dog lair that needs taken care of. And he could use the extra firepower, so hurry on up. Haven't changed a bit, you old fart. Well, I'm happy, even if my character isn't. Um, so it looks to me like there is durability. This item is too damaged, so I can't really do much with that. I could sell these, though. Wow, for, like, nothing. Why in the world would I sell a Taz for 180 freaking uh, whatevers? I don't think it's Ruples, because I think this is Ukraine. Maybe I'm showing my massive ignorance right now, but... Anyway, I'm going to sell my dog tails and Anomaly because I don't really want that hanging around. 
Um, we could potentially buy... I think what I'll do, I guess I will sell out one of my Taws, is I'm going to go ahead and use this Taws, the one with the highest durability. Oh, we still have a dog tail. I don't know why that didn't sell. Maybe I, for, I didn't hit the confirm button. Um, and then we're going to sell this Taws. We're not going to sell the AK. I don't know why it's not... Oh, I didn't hit confirm for sure. I didn't because I still have the artifact. What I'd like to do... Um, let's see what we can buy. I wanted to... Oh, he had a mask before and I couldn't... I didn't buy it because I didn't have enough. But now I have enough and now he doesn't have it. Lame. <laughs> but I think we still get to keep our detector, which is quite nice. Um, I'll buy some mineral water. I'll buy some vodka and honestly some anti-rad meds would be good batteries are interesting that um implies a lot of things to me energy drink um i guess we'll buy some food i'll cover all the basics we've got tons of money now but it seems like we still are over encumbered so i'm gonna need to drop probably i'll drop this other taz or is it? Oh, I, it's currently in my other in my secondary. Let's go ahead and drop that. Oh, unload it. I like that feature. And um, put this. Can I put this in our primary? There we go. Again, I, I just love the little touches to the UI in this game. It's it's honestly it's it's one of the better ones I've ever seen. Um, but like the fact that we can just kind of see the durability on that um, chevron there is is quite nice. Uh, I could really do with a backpack. I am I am horribly encumbered right now. We got our Makarov PM. Um not sure if what does it mean 17 skulls? I wonder if that means that that thing has killed 17. That's an interesting stat. Um I don't know if this this thing is slightly less durable. Makarov has is, is actually got quite a good durability rating. Um, I'm going to stick with this Makarov. I wonder if I could sell this, though. The Fort 12. Because I'm still encumbered. I love the music in here, honestly. Oh, wait a minute. That's that's his inventory, my bad. Um, item is too damaged. Okay. So let's just drop it. Oh, I'll, uh, also unload it. Um, are we still over encumbered? Yeah, we are. We're running it. Okay. Um, well, you know what? We could stand to eat some food. How about that? You probably don't need to see all this, but you know, it's part of the experience. Being over encumbered is certainly part of the stalker experience. But anyway, uh, it's a fairly short let's try, but I think it show you know, we've we've seen what uh, what this game has to offer in terms of like how it handles the sort of sandboxiness. I think this is closer to a first person RPG than it is like a full sandbox. I guess it is a sandbox, but you know what I mean? Like, um, I think EFP is closer to kind of a survival uh, version of Stalker, whereas this is closer to like a streamlined um, FPS kind of RPG. Uh, it's got more quests, it's got more events, it's got more character, I think. Um, so I, I really, really am liking it. Uh, I would love to do a series, but again, I don't think it'll perform well, so sorry about that. But I don't know, who knows, if this video pops off, maybe. Who knows? But anyway, if you did enjoy this, and if you have tried to stalker, you know, let me know in the comments, and consider hitting the like button, and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.